Hi guys. Hi Millie. Hi Louis. Hi. How are you both doing? How are you holding up during this crazy time? Okay. <laughs> I'm holding up just saying. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm staying safe. Uh, yeah, wearing my mask. Uh, yeah. Wear your just... mask. <laughs> are you doing... in London? I am. Are you? I just your your accent. I don't think I've heard an English accent. Before. I am English, but I'm in LA. Oh, really? Yeah. How I'm about in... you, Millie? Where are you? I'm at home in in Georgia right now on the East Coast, but um, I miss London very much. But yeah, I've just been I've been taking time for myself, relaxing before the crazy um, next couple of months and uh, the next coming year, which will be crazy. Well, congratulations on Enola. I loved it. Thank you. So good. I watched it last night. Really, really good. You must be, Millie, you must be thrilled with the reviews already. Great reviews. Yes, I've been staying on top of it because I really want to know what people think about it. And this, this feels like my baby, something that I've, I've been talking about for several years. And for it to come to fruition, I've just been, I've been very grateful for the response and everyone um, loving it. Um, you guys want to see, <laughs> this is what we got over quarantine. Hold on. Come here. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. This is Leo. This is so mom. gorgeous. He's getting annoyed. But anyways, he is the cutest little thing ever. So that's what I've been doing over quarantine. I We got three dogs. No, four, do four dogs over quarantine. We got Luna, Leo, um, Winnie, and Nora. Um, and which one is this? This is Leo. Yeah. This is Leo. So that's what I've been doing, getting dogs. Oh, well, we're happy to have met Leo. Yeah. Louis, how about you? Did you get any puppies during quarantine? I don't think I did. I'm, I'm, I'm not I don't miss think I did. Oh, that's excessive. I mean, to <laughs> say, I didn't think I did. Yeah, not just one, four. Yeah. <laughs> Comparably, very, very dull. Had you guys met each other before working on this project? We hadn't. No, we met in the audition room. Uh, oh, wow. Very flustered, Louis. Uh, <laughs> I remember Minnie was late to the audition. Oh. You kept me waiting. I was sitting there for at least a half an hour. To be fair, I'll get you were stuck in traffic, but I was waiting. I was so stuck in traffic. Yes, I was so. I, I, I got into a really um, I got into a, a little bit of a kerfuffle uh, a few days before, um, and uh, you know, just nothing crazy. Just um, I had a small car accident, and uh, and so I couldn't make it to the audition. Then we did it again, and then I got into really bad traffic. So then I turned up to the audition all hot and bothered because it was the summer of London in England, so it was a little bit crazy. And then I was just terrified to meet Louis because I, I wanted to make a good impression and I wanted him to like me. And I was like, okay, um, and his mum was there as well, so it was even more terrifying. I was like, oh, hello, I feel like I'm meeting the parents already, it's terrifying. But then um, obviously we got along so well, so it's fine. But, uh, but um, I was obviously a little bit nervous. And I, I actually have a picture of when he came into the room. Um, I met seven boys. And uh, I, as soon as I saw Louis, I said, oh, my goodness. And I wrote on a napkin, he's good. Like, I was like, he's good. That's the one. You know. What and was it that you loved about Louis in that first audition? Um, he was very endearing. He walked in um, in his uh, school uniform. Right, Louis? <laughs> I had just come from school. Are you <laughs> He said, I'm so, I'm so sorry. And I, I just came from French and uh, having a bit of a, whew, he was knew every single line, came so prepared. Um, I truly was just so impressed and he couldn't have played Tewkesbury uh, any better than in the audition room. And uh, I think we all kind of, when he, he left, we were, I mean, I think Harry, the first thing Harry Bradbury said was, I mean, he is a movie star. And I was like, I, I mean, I know. Like we were literally like, yeah, that's it. So we were very lucky to have had such an amazing Tewkesbury on our hands. Oh, and Louis, how was it for you playing Lord Tewkesbury? Because I mean, in the first couple of minutes, you, you nearly die, don't you? No, he's crazy. He, he has quite a rough time in the film, does, does old Tewkesbury. Um, no, I, I, loved, I loved playing him. And I love most, you know, his, his, his chemistry and relationship with Enola. I think that's beautiful in it. Completely, it, it flowers to use my... My flower, Cheek Free's flower thing. <laughs> it flowers over. You got that in there? 
Yes, you're right. I've, I've, been, I've been preparing that one. <laughs> it flowers into something that, I mean, I think, I don't know, somewhere in between romance and and just like a really strong connection. And I just love it. Friendship. Yeah, that's the one. Romance and friendship. That's, I just think it's a really great relationship. You know, normally you see either romantic or friendship and it sort of blurs the line between those, which I think is... Okay. Yeah. Now you know why. Now, you, now you're understanding, Terry, why. It worked. <laughs> it really did work. You're both amazing in it. How was it for you, Millie, playing somebody that was 16, your actual age? Although you were 15 when you shot this, right? Yeah, yeah. So Enola's older than me. Um, Enola's 17 now. Um, <laughs> so no, I, uh, I, uh, I loved it. I mean, you know, it was very fun. And uh, she is wise beyond her years. I kind of have grown up in an adult world. So I've grown up a little bit faster than maybe the average 16 year old. Um, but I also think that this world around us right now anyways, a lot of teenagers are growing up faster than usual just because of social media and Absolutely. things like that. But um, no, I mean, I loved it. I love, I love playing people that are extremely different than myself. And um, when I played this character, I was like, oh no, this is, I thought this was gonna be a challenge to play someone very different and it was not because she's just like me and uh, I got to just kind of like <laughs> I said I said Louis wouldn't it only be a t like an amazing 2020 vlogger you know like <laughs> okay and where to begin <laughs> it would. yeah it would I mean There's something there definitely yeah. I loved all the bits to camera I loved everything to camera and very physical very physical for you both, especially you, Millie. What was it? Taekwondo, karate? What was that you were doing? Um, it's uh, jujitsu. Oh, there we go. Martial art. Obviously, um, I know a lot. <laughs> it was jujitsu, and uh, I, I, I learned a little bit of traditional boxing. I already knew traditional boxing because I, I went to a class for it um, uh, every day for a very long time. Uh, and uh, I actually had a shaved head when I was in the classes and uh, everybody was like, that's a boy. And I kind of like, went along with it for the longest time because I was like, I don't want to explain why I have a shaved head. Um, so I'll go along with it. And yes, I learned traditional boxing and, um, and uh, jujitsu, which was really exciting. And then when doing this film, I, I already knew the basics. I already knew the basic rudiments. Um, to, uh, to... That's why she pulled it off so well, Louis. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Stranger Things for what can you tell me, Millie? You have to tell me a little something. Do I have to tell you anything? <laughs> no. Do you know what? It's crazy. So they give you this paper and they give you this pen and they make you sign something that says you don't open your mouth about anything. And that's what I've done in this situation. <laughs> so <laughs> I can't say a word. But what I will say is obviously we all love the Duffer Brothers and how talented they are. And it's always in the hands of them. They always bring it each season. So let's just trust the fact that it's going to be brilliant and strange and, uh, you know, excellent like it is every year so you know I hope to get back to work soon and uh I'm very excited to play at 11 again and we know that you wanted 11 and Mike to get married you did put that out there didn't you it's so funny I said that once and I think I think I was kind of pressured into saying it I think they said to me what what do you want happening in the next few years with that those two characters and I said well I mean let's uh, they should get married I mean because like that's kind of the only thing like you know I mean I, I don't think, I'm sure 11 yeah I'm sure 11 would want to marry him um mm. so I hope that I mean I can a lot of hope now anywhere. you put that out there congratulations to both of you on this it really is fantastic I enjoyed it so much thank you so much for talking with us thank you so nice to see you and your puppy thank you bye Terry Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.